South Korea reported its first death among confirmed cases on Thursday. The patient tested positive after he had died in a hospital near Daegu, where most of Korea's cases have been reportedly linked to a religious group. The cause of the death is still being investigated. A spike in confirmed cases brought the country's total to 204. One of the two former passengers of the Diamond Princess cruise ship is now back on U.S. soil. Mark Jorgensen is currently at Travis Air Base in California. It's where his quarantine started all over. His wife, Jerry, is still in Japan in a hospital after getting diagnosed with coronavirus. News 13's Justin Hinton has been following their journey. And Justin, you spoke with Mark earlier today. Yeah, I did. And he filled me in on how his wife, Jerry, is doing. The two left the U.S. on January 18th. A month later, they're still not home, though Mark is one step closer. After roughly 24 hours of traveling and mostly waiting, Mark Jorgensen finally arrived back on U.S. soil. Okay, here's my room. Taking some time to sit down with us and recap his journey so far. It felt good to realize that I was that much closer to home. He has about a week left of quarantine at Travis Air Force Base in California before going home becomes a reality. In the meantime, he says it's more checks of his temperature and added screenings for the virus. These images give us a glimpse of what scientists believe is a cousin of T. rex. The newly discovered species was an estimated 26 feet long with nearly three inch teeth. This is the oldest Tyrannosaur fossil that's ever been discovered from Canada. It's been dubbed Thanatotheristes, which translates to Reaper of Death. Close to 80 million years old, discovered by a 25 year old. It really helps us understand more about the world that used to be, uh, but is no longer here anymore. One of the University of Calgary students who made the discovery is a familiar face from Transylvania County. Jared Voris graduated from Rosman High in 2012. He studied geology at App State and is now pursuing a PhD in dinosaur paleontology in Canada. I really hope it inspires both the next generation of scientists from uh, Rosman and Brevard, those sorts of places. In March, the Red Cross will recognize Daniel Tizon for being a leader and mentor. News 13's John Lee has the story. The campus of Western Carolina is the training ground for the next generation of first responders. We say, hey, hey, come to our table. Let's learn how to stop the bleed. At the university center, Daniel Tazan and his team demonstrated their stop the bleed training, part of a federally funded program. The reasons why is because we want to save your life. We want to make sure you have the tools and knowledge to save your friend's life or even your own life. The Red Cross will honor Daniel as a Western Carolina hero for being a leader on the EMS Ambulance First Responder Team on campus. He credits others, which says a lot about him. But the reason why I'm so successful today is because of other people. Other people have shown me the way. Other people have trusted me to do the basic tasks, which eventually ended up into advanced tasks. The junior founded the first ever Emergency and Disaster Management Club at WCU. In fact, last fall they traveled to Texas to provide relief in the wake of Tropical Storm Imelda. And our association's goal is to take what we've learned in the classroom and implement it into real life scenarios. Zahn was also part of disaster relief after Hurricane Florence and helped rebuild homes in Newburgh. The group also established a state medical support shelter for patients with special needs. He took on all of these projects as a full-time student, and along the way, he's been a great mentor. Giving them a head start, giving them a chance to, to see that they have potential in themselves. Um, and so, you know, mentoring is, is one of the biggest things that I push for anywhere that I go. And all that passion seems to be, well, in his blood. And that's the bleeding stopped. In Cullowee, John Lee, News 13. Daniel is one of 10 people who will be honored at the American Red Cross Salute to WNC Heroes Breakfast at Highland Brewing. Tickets are still available for the event on March 24th, which recognizes selfless and heroic acts of kindness. Go to WLOS.com for more information.